Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video we are going to torture Stockfish 10 with another mind-blowing chess puzzle. The puzzle was composed by Soviet chess composer Froim Simkhovich and was first published in 1924. It's white to move and draw the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? As you can see on your screen, Stockfish 10 is also running and the engine is evaluating Black's position is totally winning. But the problem with Stockfish is that as you know engines are unable to understand fortresses and that's the reason that the evaluation goes completely wrong. But despite the wrong evaluation still, the first move the engine suggests correctly. Yes, knight f7 is the correct move and that's actually the move which allows white to draw the game despite the fact that white is a rook down. Let's see how it goes. First, white is playing knight f7, is attacking black rook. Rook e8, well, it turns out that rook e8 is the safest square, otherwise if move like rook f8, then white can first announce a check from f3, and if king g6, then knight e5 check, and all the time this black king should stick to black rook in order to protect it, and white can give a perpetual check, black king can't escape. That's why after knight f7, black is playing rook e8. And it's in here that engines are not managing to find the best continuation for white. In my case, the KNS speed is very low, but I even tested this position with Stockfish, which is running on Chessify's powerful cloud servers. And again, the engine failed to find the best move. And that move is an absolutely staggering knight d6 check. With this move, white is forcing black to accept the knight sacrifice, thus is burying the light squared bishop on c8 and at the same time is gaining a precious time in order later to form a fortress. And after e takes d6, White is starting to give a check with his rook. So black king is moving back towards the d8 square, which is the only square which allows black to avoid the perpetual check. And after king d8, believe it or not, but white goes for the exchange of rooks. King takes e8. Right now, white is two pieces down, but with the help of a fortress, now white will manage to draw the game. But first, white is playing a3. This a3 is very important because with this move, white is not allowing black to create any possible counterplay on the queen side. Bishop b7, by going for knight d6 sacrifice, as I've already mentioned, white simply buried this bishop and the bishop is totally useless. You know, no way to activate it. King d1, king f7, meanwhile, black is freeing the 8th rank in order to activate his rook. King e1, rook a8, king f1, rook h8. Already, black rook wants to penetrate white's camp, but white king is just in time. King g1, then there is no way to make a progress. So, in here, the only thing on which black can rely is to come near with his king. But now, white is also taking under control that route as well. First white is playing f3 and after king f5, this time is playing g3, not allowing black king to come near. And all the time this essential e1 and h1 squares can be controlled by white king. If king g5 then king g2, just no way to make a progress with the black pieces, you know. White king will just move around and this is going to end up in a draw. Of course, you can go for a rook sacrifice, but this won't give you anything. You can't give, you can't make any progress with your dead bishop, and again, this is going to end up in a draw. Just a brilliant chess puzzle, I think. Let's take a look at this fortress once again, which actually looks very similar to a chess puzzle which I published earlier, composed by Vitaly Chekhover. I will pin the link of that puzzle in the comment section and if you enjoyed this puzzle share also with your friends let them know about this beauty well if this endgame study was too difficult for you here is a simple one please take a look at this position and try to find the winning line for white it's white to move and i guess that a smile will appear on your face 
if you can find that winning move. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Want to remind again, it's white to move and win the game. And in the end, you can also check out these suggestions as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.